Good evening. Doug High School, this is your Principal Wade Hampton. Welcome to our 2020 Virtual Awards Ceremony. We're proud of each of you and are excited to celebrate your accomplishments. I would like to take this opportunity to invite you to our virtual graduation on May 21st and our in-person celebration of the Class of 2020 on June 4th at Halliburton Stadium. A special thank you goes out to our counselors who planned our awards assembly. Now on with our show and our first award. For our first award, we want to recognize the Oklahoma Academic Scholars. This award is giving to seniors who have accumulated over grades 9th, 10th, 11th, and the first semester of grade 12, at least a 3.7 grade point average, or are in the top 10% of their class, and have at least a 27 on the ACT, or a 1200 combined reading and math score on the SAT 1. The following are academic scholars. Victoria Bates, Bryant Boydston, Vanessa Cassidy, Stephen Cox, Chandler Hicks, Ian McIntyre, Claire Mitchell, Evan Moore, Aiden Scott, Reed Simpson, and Preston Weeks. Congratulations to our Oklahoma Academic Scholars. Oklahoma High School Honor Society Awards. These awards are given to students in the top 10% of their class based on their GPA of the last semester of the previous year and the first semester of the current year. And our Oklahoma Honor Society members are, for the freshman class, Bryson Brookshire, Abigail Carter, Connor Channel, Drew Cook, Keandre Culberson, Hayden Davis, John Enzi, Russell Fry, Jaden Gregston, Kennedy Hammock, Jace Laux, Julie Macedo, Kendallin Miller, Gina Parker, Aaron Sampley, Jackson Santos, Jordan Talley, and Sheridan White are our freshman Oklahoma Honor Society members. Sophomores, Katrina Arredondo, Lauren Bubin, Marissa Bumgarner, Ava Curry, Gavin Curry, Landon Funk, Alexis Giles, Corbin Hammock, Cassidy Jackson, Jariah Jackson, Kendall Ledford, Haley Lopez, Mayla Marks, Shaley McGee, Mark Molina, Emma Moore, Logan Morris, Adelina Pizana, Sarah Pogue, Crystal Ramirez, Juliana Shoemaker, Colin Stringer, Julia Taylor, Clarissa Testa, Chase Trumbull, and Julian Ward. Our junior Oklahoma Honor Society members are Tristan Blackburn, Majori Kaoli, Adam Clifton, Michaela Craig, Madeline Crimmins, Cassandra Fairfield, Caden Fears, Jade Gallagher, Natalie Garrett, Trey Golden, Nathan Hudson, Penelope Hughes, Ricky Hoon, Nathan Johnson, Kennedy Kelly, Jaden Kerr, Chase Kyle, Morgan Locke, Marche McIntyre, <coughs> Noah Moynihan, Macy Pruitt, Jason Raj, Sydney Reams, Madison Reeves, Jacob T. Riley, Jason or J.C. Santos, Zachary Schreckengost, Mariah Santos or Standoaks, Philip Strachan, Hope Swore, Sabrina Veers, Reese Walker, Leska Waitman, Tate Wilkins, and Cheyenne Young Trudup. And our senior Oklahoma Honor Society members, Andrea Barrientos, Victoria Bates, Vanessa Cassidy, Gentry Cox, Javion Dangerfield, Esther Ferrier, Lincoln Fitz, Macy Gann, Casey Gonzalez, Lindley Graham, Jocelyn Gregory, Chandler Hicks, Cedric Hodges, Alexis Kyle, Ian McIntyre, Anna McMurrin, Evan Moore, Aiden Mueller, Abigail Price, Carly Ramirez, Emily Salazar, Aiden Scott, Reed Simpson, Ethan R. Smith, Georgia Vester, Preston Weeks, 
Jillian White, and Avery Wilson. Congratulations to our Oklahoma Honor Society members. Our next award is from the Kiwanis for Kiwanis Sophomore of the Year. The Youth Services Committee of the Duncan Chisholm Trail Kiwanis Club reviewed a number of excellent applications this year for Sophomore of the Year. This award is not based on academics, but on leadership qualities. The goal is to seek out, recognize, and develop leadership potential, commencing with high school sophomores, and to encourage and prepare the next generation of civic and corporate leadership for America's future. I am pleased to announce on behalf of the Duncan Chisholm Trail Kiwanis Club that this year's Sophomore of the Year is Sarah Pogue. Congratulations, Sarah. Our next award is the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Award, otherwise known as Hobie. Hobie is a program for young people that provides the opportunity to participate in unique leadership training, service learning, and motivation building experiences. The mission of Hobie is to inspire and develop a global community of youth and volunteers dedicated to leadership, service, and innovation. The local OWL and philomathic clubs in Duncan choose the Hobie winner each year through an application interview process. These two clubs then provide the necessary funds to send the winner to the regional Hobie Leadership Seminar, typically held on a university campus somewhere in Oklahoma in late May or early June. This year, the winner of the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Award is Sarah Pogue. Congratulations, Sarah. Good evening. I would now like to announce the DECA Awards. Each year, the DECA organization, which focuses on marketing and entrepreneurship, honors students who have been recognized for their skill in various areas. This year, the following students were honored for their achievement in these marketing and entrepreneurship categories. Cedric Hodges, outstanding leadership in DECA and state qualifier. Cedric was fifth in state competition for event planning and was scheduled to attend the international competition in Nashville, Tennessee. Dustin Mann and Ridge Harris were voted outstanding DECA leaders by their peers. Shakia Culberson and Cedric Hodges, DECA outstanding event planning. Dustin Mann, Ridge Harris, and Jeremy McBride, DECA outstanding marketing students. I would now like to announce our perfect attendance awards. The following students have perfect attendance, zero absences for multiple years. Cassie Gonzalez, senior, eight years, perfect attendance. Jackson Merchant, sophomore, nine years perfect attendance. Gina Parker, freshman, five years perfect attendance. The following students have perfect attendance, zero absences for the 2019-2020 school year. Landon Funk, sophomore. Carrie Hunt, sophomore. And Jason Raj, junior. These students have less than half a day absence for the 2019-2020 school year. Jose Avila, freshman. Seth Biffle, sophomore. Nathaniel Bridges, junior. Vanessa Cassidy, senior. Jesus Castillo, junior. Tyler Eads, freshman. Tamia Flowers, sophomore. Russell Fry, freshman. Trey Golden, junior. Jacqueline Graham, freshman, Jackson Hardy, senior, Jacob Keene, sophomore, Julie Macedo, freshman, Maria Macias, freshman, Corbin Martinez, junior, Javier Martinez, senior, Matthew Mason, sophomore, Emily Mefford, sophomore, Blayton Montgomery, junior, Alonzo Ramirez, senior, Sydney Reams White, Jr., Philip Strawn, Jr., Elvia Tamez, Sophomore, Leska Waitman, Jr., Avery Wilson, Sr., Caleb Windsor, Freshman, Michael Wright, Jr. I would now like to announce the AAUW Outstanding Senior Girl. The Duncan branch of the American Association of University Women has recognized the Duncan High School outstanding senior girl for more than 40 years. The DHS faculty selects the young woman for this honor based on character, scholarship, and extracurricular activities. She represents the very best of the young women of the 2020 senior class. This year's winner of the AAUW outstanding senior girl is Carly Ramirez. Congratulations, Carly. We will now move on to the Fellowship of Christian Athletes Awards. 
The Fellowship of Christian Athletes began in Oklahoma in 1954 and has grown into the world's largest sports ministry impacting people for Christ. Each year, FCA recognizes students who have made significant contributions to their school, community, and FCA. As the State Director of Oklahoma FCA, John O'Dell states, as we recognize our FCA All-State athletes and coaches, please realize that these are the individuals who have the most powerful influence in Oklahoma. These are the ones who are on the front lines of the battlefields in our schools, each striving to be an inspiration and influence for Jesus Christ. This year, senior student Lincoln Fitz has been named an FCA All-State athlete for the 2019-2020 school year. Congratulations, Lincoln. I will now announce the U.S. Presidential Scholar Semifinalist Award. The United States Presidential Scholars Program was established in 1964 by executive order of the President to honor some of the nation's most distinguished graduating high school seniors. Students have the opportunity to become U.S. Presidential Scholars based on three paths of accomplishment. They may be selected on the basis of academic achievement, academic and artistic ability in the visual arts, performing arts, or creative writing. Additionally, some students are selected on the basis of their accomplishment in career and technical education fields. From nearly 3.6 million graduating seniors, over 5,600 students were identified as candidates in the program, and 621 semifinalists have been selected across the country. This year, we are proud to announce that senior student Ian McIntyre has been named a semifinalist to advance to the final round of the U.S. Presidential Scholars Competition. I will now announce the outstanding senior boy and girl. Each year the junior class votes on senior students that they feel best represent the most outstanding senior boy and girl in the class. This year, the outstanding senior boy and girl as voted on by members of the junior class are Carly Ramirez, and Ian McIntyre. Congratulations, guys. I will now announce the RILA Youth Leadership Award. In June of 2019, two students from Duncan High School joined other outstanding students from the region at a five-day leadership training camp in the Arbuckle Mountains. Camp RILA assisted in developing a comprehensive view of leadership through emphasis on teamwork, motivation, and enhanced communication skills. We are happy to congratulate Ian McIntyre and Preston Weeks as the Duncan Rotary Club's RILA recipients. Congratulations, guys. Good evening. It's my honor this evening to be here to present the Crossman Award. The name Crossman holds an important meaning for Duncan High School and for five seniors. That meaning represents the recognition of teachers and the result of years of hard work. The award, which originated in 1946, is the top award at Duncan High School. Five seniors are nominated by teachers based on characteristics including scholarship, leadership, personality, cooperation, citizenship, just to name a few. This year's Crossman Award nominees are Vanessa Cassidy. She's the daughter of Richard and Juanita Cassidy. Um, her plans are to attend the University of North Texas in music performance and music education. In high school, she was involved in SAD as the reporter, National Honor Society, Oklahoma Honor Society, Band Can Council President, Band Leadership, FCA Leadership, Girls Varsity Tennis Team. She has a 4.0 GPA and a 4.46 weighted GPA. She, has a, she was a National Merit Scholar, an Academic All-Stater, the U.S. Presidential Scholar nominee, a three-time All-State flautist, and six-time All-Region flautist, USAI 22 flautist, and three-times Tennis Oklahoma All-Star and two-time Tennis State semifinalist, Rotary Club Student of the Month for October 2019. Her community activities included volunteering for Duncan Public Library, Assumption Catholic Church, First United Methodist Church, and Duncan Kiwanis Club. She's also registered foster for the Stevens County Humane Society. Her hobbies and sports include tennis, cooking, running, fitness, 
and ballet. Our next nominee is Carly Ramirez. She is the daughter of Crystal and Carlos Ramirez. She plans to attend the University of Oklahoma and major in radio radiography. Um, her high school clubs and organizations included student council historian, class of 2020 reporter, head of the spirits committee, leadership, students against destructive decisions, national honor society, and fellowship of Christian athletes. She has a GPA of 3.97 and a weighted GPA of 4.38. Her honors and awards included Daughters of the American Revolution Award, the I Dare You Award, she was a Girl State attendee, Beautiful Day, Silver Volunteer, and Oklahoma Honor Society. Her community activities were, um, she was part of New Hope First Baptist Church Youth Group. She worked at Sumac Trading Company, Territory Golf and Country Club, volunteered weekly at Mark Twain with a first grade class, and also volunteered at Emerson Elementary and the Chisholm Trail Assisted Living through her leadership class. And she's also a member of Lucky Circle Social Club. Her hobbies included volunteering, reading, and journaling. Our next nominee is Ian McIntyre. He is the son of Marcus McIntyre and Lee McIntyre. His college choice is Oklahoma City University to major in economics and political science. His high school clubs and organizations include student council as the current president. He was a class officer for this freshman and sophomore year as class president, DHS band trumpet section leader, DHS reflections tenor, DHS speech and drama. He was Lincoln D Douglas debater and he was a member of the National Honor Society. His GPA is a 4.56. His honors and awards included the U.S. Presidential Scholar Semifinalist in 2019-20, Oklahoma Academic All-State for the 1920 school year, U.S. Senate Youth Program Candidate representing Oklahoma in the 1920 school year, Oklahoma Honor Society, 2016-17, 17-18, and 18-19, he was also a member of the U.S. Senate program as an alternate in 1819. He was an Oklahoma All-State Choir for 1718, 1819, and 1920. Oklahoma All-State Band, first chair trumpet and symphonic band in 1920. He was an All-Region Honor Choir in 1617, 1718, 1819, and 1920 school years. He was a member of the All-Region Band in the 1617 and 1920 school years. He was a Boys State um, member in 2019 and was recognized as the mayor and um, oratorical contest winner there. He's a Rotary International Youth Leadership Award winner in 2019 and was the I Care Award recipient. He is the National Association of Teachers of Singing State Competition, first place high school male music theater in 2019. Oklahoma Secondary Schools Association solo contest superior rating in 1718 and 1819. He was the Rotary Student of the Month in October of 2019 and the AP Scholar winner in 2019 for AP classes in World History, Language and Composition, U.S. History, Calculus, Literature and Composition, U.S. Government. His community activities included Boy Scouts of America, unofficially an Eagle Scout because of COVID-19, um, though he has completed all requirements. He is a studio singer. Um, for the acapella group and president of that group. He's a um, Gabriel's House Boy Scout volunteer, Oklahoma Department of Education Social Studies advisory team member, and Duncan Little Theater volunteer. His hobbies included voice lessons, ballet, piano lessons, and reading, and he loves dogs. Our next nominee is Aiden Scott. He is the son of Chad and Tara Scott. His college choice is the University of Oklahoma, and he plans to major in microbiology. His high school clubs and organizations, he was the vice president of the Duncan High School Student Council, senior class secretary, national honor society treasurer, team captain of the varsity soccer team, team captain of the academic team, DHS leadership class, students against destructive decisions, multicultural club, key club, and FCA leadership team. He has a GPA of 4.25. His honors and awards included he was voted the most involved student by the DHS senior class. He was selected to the University of Oklahoma President's Leadership class. He's a Duncan Rotary Student of the Month, soccer All-State nominee, 
lettered in varsity soccer, National Honor Society, Oklahoma Honor Society, Fellowship of Christian Athletes Rising Star Award, Oklahoma Association for Academic Competition Mathematics Champion at the Froshmore Academic Bowl, and he was selected to represent Duncan High School students to speak at the 2019 OSSBA Conference at the Cox Center. His community activities included Fiesta and Fuquay Volunteer, Beautiful Day Volunteer, Adopt a Grandparent, Veterans Day Breakfast Server, Book Buddies, he taught women's self-defense classes, taught soccer clinic for high school, Election Day Pancake Breakfast Volunteer. Um, he was part of the DHS Freshman Enrollment Night, One Duncan Frontier Day, Beautiful Day Banquet Server. He's part of Mike Kahn's Leadership Lab Volunteers. He's also involved in Bark in the Park, Humane Society Bake Sale, the Cheris Pregnancy Center, birthday tours, and middle school orientation. His hobbies and sports include mixed martial arts, 2013 to present. He achieved his black belt in Taekwondo, piano lessons for five years, cooking, playing competitive travel soccer, and Connection Church youth group. The final nominee this evening is Javion Dangerfield. His parents are Chastity Coulter and Jeremy Dangerfield. His college choice is the University of Central Oklahoma, and his major is undecided. His high school clubs and organizations are Student Council, Spirit Committee Chairman, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Senior Vice President, National Honor Society, and Leadership. He has a GPA of 4.0 and a weighted GPA of 4.39. His honors and awards are he was Outstanding Junior Boy, Honor Society, Class 5A District 1 Offensive Player of the Year, and his sports include football and track. So I think you can see that all of these recipients are highly deserving of this nomination, and um, I'm excited to announce the winner at this time. The winner of this year's Crossman Award This year's 2019-20 Clock Crossman Award winner is Javion Dangerfield. Congratulations, Javion. We are proud of you and could not be more excited for your future as well as the other nominees. Thank you for representing Duncan Public Schools so well. I'd like to thank you for attending this virtual awards ceremony. Uh, remember, again, seniors, if you received an award or a scholarship, please feel free to write a thank you letter or send a thank you email to the groups or organizations that presented you with that award and scholarship. If you have questions about how to do that, please email your counselor, Ms. Young, at dana.young at duncanps.org. Thanks for tuning in and have a great summer.